Welcome to Canada. All these city boys and girls are probably thinking that I'm freezing cold right now. But us Canadians are built different. I just have a little sweatshirt and a t-shirt under that shit. For today's video guys, we are about to put the Yamaha skis on the mud mower. Let's go ahead and start this video guys. I need to modify the spindles on the mower so the skis fit on this thing. I can't wait to try this bitch with the skis and all that snow. It's not even trying to start up. So I'm just gonna put that thing aside for today. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and try to fix this thing. Oh my God, there's a lot of snow, man. It's snowing so much. <laughs> Here we are next day, guys. I actually found why the mower is not starting up. Y'all are not ready for this. The air filter needs to be assembled on this thing for this thing to start. Don't ask me why because I just don't know why. I wasted a whole day trying to pull start this thing. Oh yeah, boy! It's running on one cylinder right now. So now that everything works, let's get that thing ready for a test ride. the steering so now I need to fix that <laughs> not even the tiniest gasket leak but a ton of carbon buildup so it turns out this little fuel pump line wasn't even screwed on properly on the engine. So hopefully this is our problem. I think the problem is actually the intake manifold. We have a leak all up in here. We have a leak right here. Brand new gaskets everywhere. The stock coil from this mower, faulty. Brand new coil from my local tractor shop, also faulty. Turns out Remy has the same engine in one of his mowers. So I asked him if I can borrow his coil. He said yes, I tried it, it started right up. So finally guys, it's actually time to test this bitch in snow with the skis, finally. So let's warm up this little bitch. Ah. Let's go guys, we can finally test drive this thing. Oh my god, I'm so hyped about it. I really hope that these little brackets won't break. I need to make some stronger brackets though. Oh my god. Oh yeah boy, this is Canadian stuff. Let's go. Oh my god, this thing, this thing has some traction in snow. Oh my god, that was bumpy. <laughs> oh my god. 
my god! This is insane! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Fuck! Already, boy? That's ah, not that much of a problem. I'm just gonna bend that thing straight. <laughs> Hopefully, I get to the garage. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> this thing is mean! I'm the first one to have camber skis. Hey -ya. Hey -ya. Hey -ya. I'm gonna bend that thing straight. I'm probably gonna weld another bracket right here so it's stronger. Maybe on this side as well. Jimmy is on his way to reach me right here with his mower. So it is about to go wild guys. <laughs> Here you go. This will probably be a little bit stronger. When someone has better tires on his mower than your Honda four tracks. What's up, guys? It's Quandale Dingle here. <laughs> <laughs> These are by far the worst tires ever for snow. By far. You should have kept your mower tires. Yeah. <laughs> it's leaking air. <laughs> Not much of a problem, we have an air station. <laughs> yeah, still this engine sounds weird sometimes, like right now. It sounds like it's running lean. Is this thing a freaking diesel? I don't even know if Jimmy can go through all that snow. Actually, his mower tires were actually better than these race quad tires. Oh my god, this thing is a diesel. My god, this thing pulls in snow. Let's go in deeper snow. Oh my god, it's drifting like crazy. Jimmy is actually following me. What? Let's go in deep snow! Oh! My god, the belt slipped! Will this thing crawl out of this snow though? Ah, the belt is slipping. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and let that belt dry up. Jimmy doesn't like to get stuck with his stuff. Unlike me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh! I'm good. No, I'm not. <laughs> ah! Just pull on that ski. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Now I'm good. I saw on eBay that there was a snow track kit for mowers. That would seriously be insane to put that on the mower. I'd be floating on all that snow. These skis on this mower are a game changer. God! I can't use reverse. My reverse is broken. <laughs> Look how far I made it. The fuck you crying about? Are oh, your glasses? Your glasses. <laughs> Not goggle. <laughs> R.I.P. Starter. What the fuck did you do to this mower, man? 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna use my can -Am to pull him out of there. Seems like mords are not really reliable. <laughs> That'll do the job. I didn't even let this can -Am warm up. I'm usually not that kind of guy. I'm just gonna go easy on it. Or once was a ship they put to sea. The name of the ship was a bully of tea. The next day. Jimmy's lawnmower is RIP, his starter is clapped, so now I'm alone, he went home. And honestly guys, I don't really know if I'll be able to finish this video, like do my outro and things, because Remy's quill is starting to act really weird. This thing is now hard to start, it backfires, and I need to put choke so it starts. So this thing is actually running just like it was before, it's running like crap. So will I be able to finish this freaking video, man? Oh my god! Ah! 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 <laughs> fucking lawnmower engines. Fucking unreliable shit. The throttle is stuck! <laughs> Apparently, this thing just doesn't like to run right. So, guys, I'm sorry about this, but I'm just gonna give y'all my impressions over these keys. Actually, it is a game changer. It is way better than having wheels because the skis just slides on the snow. It makes this thing move so freaking easier. Also in deep snow, the front end is just floating on the snow. So it helps a lot, man. And also it turns way much better with skis than it does with wheels. Because in snow with wheels, you'll just drag them wheels and go straight. I need a skip plate because all the snow is coming up right here and it goes on the belt, makes the belt slip. So I don't want to have a slipping belt. The only decent part I have on this bitch right now is these tires and the skis. Otherwise, this thing is a freaking piece of crap. This is actually stage two of this mower. Stage one was the blue and white version of this thing with the 12 HP engine that Jimmy is rocking. That thing was on a stock pulley setup and the exhaust was kind of cool. Stage one though. Stage two, here we have it. Twin cylinder bitch engine that just doesn't want to run with straight double straight pipe exhaust some pretty decent mud tires and a Chevrolet tracker seat which is super comfy though these straight pipe exhaust are actually not helping this poor little engine not enough back pressure <laughs> also the stock more steering system is actually so freaking dangerous unreliable shit i need to put something way much stronger and safer than that shit i still want to do some crazy stuff to this bitch then we'll move on to stage three so this thing is actually an 18 hp 700 cc twin and i really don't know if i want to upgrade for more horsepower but still more engines like maybe for stage three of this mower i'll actually swap a bike engine or atv engine in it with a straight axle i really don't know yet i'm just tired to have unreliable stuff i'd really want to know what y'all want to see me doing to this mower so leave them comments down below guys i'll read them and i'll probably answer y'all so I'm just gonna actually end this video with something that is actually reliable. <laughs> My freaking can -Am, dude. As always, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, guys. I'm usually not begging for likes and subscribers and thing like that. But just a little reminder, if y'all like the video, guys, just leave a like. It helps a ton. Oh my god, <laughs> tool drive bud! <laughs> I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one guys, peace!